Welcome back to another episode of the Hermit Poetry Series. I'm Neil Aiken, and on this channel I read poetry, mostly work by contemporary poets, occasionally poems of my own, and once in a while poems from the past. Today's poem comes to us from Evelyn Lau, uh, from a poem that appears in Swallowing Clouds, an anthology of Chinese-Canadian poetry. This was published by Arsenal Pulp Press uh, in 1999. Um, and the poem I'm going to read by Evelyn Lau is entitled The Lost Hours. In dreams where you walk, I am a pale scar around your neck, a leaf twisting about your ankles. I am between the fingers you rub together, betraying a desire to take notes. Twenty-five years of taking notes and analysis, and the gesture comes to you like a blink or a tense muscle. I have kept the lost hours, the nights you thought I gave to needles, and the snowflake scatter of white pills. They cause amnesia, you said, and the truth to come out. Your hands reached out, gloved in softness, to gather up the babble of truth that slipped from my mouth in a rush of polished stones, marbles. You thought I'd lost hours, like trinkets, while you were busy driving home through a blizzard of night and a cold that stuck itself to you like a wet tongue thrust against an iron gate in winter. You abandoned loneliness for an office party where you insisted the nurses lined up to press their bodies against yours. I wonder what you wore. Your patients escape through a black corridor with seeking hands, balleting around their faces. Their hands fluttered art above the chair I fell into. You pocketed the hours. I spent them freely and walked with you into imaginary havens, saw you serious with a sunken lip, saw that the same lip grasping another tasting of lipstick and tears and confessions. I have held the lost hours in my own dry palm. I have sought them, and it has been like looking for something buried on a beach after dark. I have been looking, combing back the hairs of the afternoon. All your lost people thrum in the darkness of the night. I have learned, I have had to learn to forgive each one. Often they had delicate hair. The first whiff of defeat had been ironed into their clothes. Already their eyes had gone. Why did you leave it so long? The two Chinese lamps in your office held nothing back. The floor was awash with the layers of your suit. We were struggling to learn something or to forget everything beneath books by Freud and Havelock Ellis and some new California psychologist. You had written me into your appointment book with initials that were not my own. I counted the hours into my purse and wrote the important names into a black book in the bathroom and laughed all the way back down the long hallway to your office because you were smiling where you stood. Um, and that was The Lost Hours by Evelyn Lau from Swallowing Clouds, an anthology of Chinese-Canadian poetry from Arsenal Pulp Press, 1999. If you enjoyed this reading and this poem, please check out the description of the video for more information about the poet and more information about this series, um, as well as where to purchase this, this particular anthology. Um, if you've been enjoying the series, please consider subscribing to the channel. Um, if you hit the bell icon, you'll be notified every time there's a new video that's been posted to this series. And in general, I try to have new videos out every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. I've been pretty consistent with that. I hope to continue to deliver new content every week on Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. And I'm always interested and open to suggestions from you. Um, if you have ideas for poets or poems that you would like to see featured, by all means, reach out to me and let me know. <coughs> you can comment below in the uh, beneath the videos, or you can directly email me and let me know what it is that you would like to see. And if you're a poet with a book out and you would like to be featured, please also reach out. Always open to, to hearing from you and learning more about uh, what else is out there. I think the, the big value, for me at least, is that this series becomes an opportunity for me to delve um, both into the books that I know and love, as well as to discover or rediscover uh, poets and poems that I might not have read for some time or 
perhaps ever at all. Um, I try to keep a, a certain percentage of my own personal poetry collection um, unknown to me, you know, in the sense that I pick up things and I don't always finish reading them. And so this series provides me a chance to do that, to get back into those those books, rediscover things, and be inspired. Hopefully it is inspiring to you as well. Um, hopefully uh, you're doing well and uh, finding uh, the weather and uh, the world improving at this particular time. Um, there are challenges, indeed. There are struggles and injustices, um, but there's also the power of poetry and art to create dialogues, to create uh, empathy, and to create opportunities to have these conversations. And I hope that um, as you delve into poetry and into the arts, that you will find ways to both understand others and also to come to a deeper appreciation of the value of our each of our human lives um, and the lives of, of all sorts of creatures on this planet. So. Until next time, I'm, I'm Neil Aiken. This is the Hermit Poetry Series, and I wish you all the very best uh, with whatever you're doing these days. Uh, hopefully you're finding joy and happiness um, or some measure of peace in what you're engaged with artistically and creatively. And I hope that you continue to be productive as you pursue these things, um, or at least find inspiration to move you forward. Um, until we meet again, uh, Stay safe and well and keep reading, keep writing, and keep finding ways to, to reach out to others and to, to build a bridge, um, one poem and one conversation at a time. Uh, so we'll see you soon. Uh, I'll be back again with more poetry. And until we see you and until I'm back, uh, keep reading and have a, I don't know, just have a great time. We'll be back again. Take care. Bye.